Here is the man that this crowd wants to see. Vince Carter who had told Kenny Smith that he has four dunks that no one has ever seen. All right, here is Vince Carter with his first stop. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. Let's, Let's go home. going against the grain. That is unbelievable. This building just exploded. And of the night for Vince Carter. And Vince adding to the repertoire. Vince Carter finishes with a 49, and the reason is Kenny Smith, the only judge not to award a 10. What's he's going looking on at me Because I told you, he set the precedent with the first one. This the finale on the first round for Vince Carter. Oh, it did not. It's oh. over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The judges are coming over the table to congratulate Vince Carter. This is unheard of. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is over. And Vince Carter with his first on the final round. <laughs> <laughs> the lady, wait, time out. Time out. Can, can I take a time out? Have can we take a time out? That before? Can, can I take a time well, out? I, I, saw, I saw him rubbing his upper arm, and I was wondering what he was doing. He was just cleaning it off, making sure there was nothing slippery there, because he knew how far into the rim he was going. Wait I'm a not. moment, Dad. Have you ever seen that? I've never seen that before. I'm not sure the guy can't go in through the rim head first. <laughs> hey, let's see if there's a trampoline out there when he's doing this stuff. The mascots left the trampoline out there, I think. Here comes Carter and puts it down. Goes two hands from the free throw line instead of one. I think that was a smart dunk. That was a smart safety dunk. Absolutely. He elevated, he took off close to the foul line, but he knew what he needed to win. That's a smart dunk at the end to get the championship. Vince Carter racked up a score of 98 to win the NBA.com Slam Dunk 2000 Championship. The friends, the rebound. The sophomore's out on the move. Williams in the middle. Behind the back to the friends. Down the lane. He drew the foul. The all the great passers, they know where the trailer is. Yes. And this is just a, a great move because he picked up that trailer as he was crossing over half court and then never once turned his head. have two. Bryant to shot! Kobe Bryant's two free throws and then a jumper gave the Lakers a four-point lead. And now his assist to Shaquille O'Neal makes it a six-point difference with 41 and three-tenths seconds left. L.A. has outscored Portland 25 to four in the last nine minutes and 50 seconds. Stabilized it at times. Here's Shaq. Against Dudley. Nice move. Shaquille O'Neal was so powerful on that move that Dudley. Dudley just not even fouling. He just got overpowered by Shaquille O'Neal. But Dudley is now drawing with Shaq and threw the ball in his direction. Man, if you want to pick somebody to go with. <laughs> You go right to the head of the class when you go after Shaq. Well, that, that move right there was as powerful as you'll ever see. Now, Chris Dudley is not a small man unless you compare him to Shaquille O'Neal. He's 6'11 and 260. Oh, see, he was upset. He thought Shaq pushed him after the play and knocked him down. And then he picks up the ball and throws it at Shaq. I think Shaq got a tee before that. Watch this now, Bob. Watch the power. He just overpowers him, and he comes down, and then he shoves him right there. They call the... Iverson. Bothered by Lose. Iverson. Yes. How about that? 
Ravens steps over to Ron Lowe's. Like he was dead in the water. The Sixers by four. 40 seconds left in overtime. Christie in for the right, flips the shot up, no good. O'Neal lays it up, missed it. Ball tipped out to Laurie, a straight on three. Good! The Lakers have won! Robert Laurie's greatest hits tour continues. Oh, no doubt about it. He's got to be getting a Grammy for that one. Ginobili will inbound to Duncan. He gets doubled. Shaq all over him. He gets away, a fadeaway. He makes it with four tenths left. Unbelievable! Four tenths remaining in the fifth game. Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Gary God. Fisher scores at the buzzer. We got to take a look at it, but I got to tell you, live, it looked good. You know, at the risk of being a shill, now I know why they say we love this game. We love this game. What a touch, just unbelievable. Shot clock. I don't know if Phillips knows that. He lost the handle. Tinsley, Reggie Miller, and it's blocked again. Oh. Blocked by Tayshon. Picked up by Rip. And oh a foul. Tayshon screamed after Reggie Miller and somehow blocked the bunny. Wow. You may never see another play like that again. That's a good block, George. Has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Wallace upset. Players trying to hold each other off. Steven Jackson and Rasheed Wallace trying to be peacemakers. Now Jackson yelling. Wallace still going. You need the coaches in there to get him away. Jackson Steven, challenging Derek Coleman. Somebody should just get Jackson out of quickly as possible. The problem is if Wallace is ejected, I'm not sure. He'd have to walk past the Pacer bench to go. Now Artest has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Artest is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rasheed Wallace going into the stands. The security trying to somehow restore order. Fans and players are going at it, and the players trying to help each other out. This is a disgrace. All the players now, they're jumping in there to try and get the other players out because the fans have come involved. Oh, what a sad scene here at the Palace. And now another fight's breaking out in front of the Pistons bench. It's a, it's a fan on the court. This is very, very dangerous. Fans are throwing cups with liquid in them now onto the court. Ron Artest has a look in his eye that's very scary right now. You wonder if the official's going to let this game continue. Now they're throwing bottles out onto the floor. They're trying to get the Pacers to go back to the locker room. What was maybe you could call a hard foul at best has turned into a just a, an ugly, ugly scene. Chuck Person. The officials, I think they're going to call this game off, and that should be the, the outcome is definitely decided. You have these ridiculous fans trying to go at the players and now throwing. Somebody could really get hurt. This is a bad showing from the Pistons fans here. Just firing bottles from the stands. The Pacers have all gone back in toward the locker room. And they're getting thrown a lot of debris. And they're still not all the way through. And for some reason, one of the Pacers, they hold Austin Crozier out. They won't want to get him under the tunnel because they're afraid for his safety. They're pouring liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. That's one of the worst scenes I've ever seen this is an NBA. Old moment in NBA history. The players just have to get out of there. Get back to the locker room and forget about it. Fisher 
Nice rotation of Bryant. Buckle up for Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant just sucked the gravity out of the target center. What a play. He might have just injured that shoulder a little bit more. The windmill slam. You realize how difficult oh. it is to do that. <laughs> that brought everybody out of their seat. <laughs> Personal foul. Well, Shelby's, Kobe's been quiet here. He does a great job going in over the two seven footers. Oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was sweet. And then, you know what? How many times have we talked about when you go in and you make a great play like that at the basket, when you those three points come out, how easy it looks? Sleeve. Oh, great pass. Kobe alone. Slam dunk. We're all geared for you. But he's void of all the drop. Nobody helping right now defensively, so he'll take the 15 footer. Oh, Kobe counted foul. Kobe goes straight to the dribble in the lane, laid up and in. Kobe. His average tonight, you would think. His average is. Kobe with it now. Lakers lead 105 96. Another three. Four away from Elgin Baylor's Laker record. For three again. Yes! <laughs> well, there's 70. Pump fake for two. Kobe stopped the Laker record. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I see your point, though. Kobe down the middle. Throw up and in. Second. 27 in the third. I see it. Here's number one. Do you believe it? This one would be to tie Wilt for number two, and the next one would be to pass. For the night, at least. Brown for 80. This would be 18 for 20 from the line, and an 81-point game. 55 in the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed the second greatest scoring performance in NBA history. They did not get that play correct out of the timeout. And which obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three. 35 seconds to go. Continues to hit at the line. And the Spurs now lead by seven. Rockets looking for a quick shot. Bowen is all over. McGrady foul is picked up. Yes. Yes. A potential four point play. Tracy McGrady from downtown. And Tim Duncan could not get out of the way. He's called for the foul. <laughs> what a shot by McGrady. You'll see the screen by Yao Ming, which forces Duncan to help, and he just draws the contact and somehow gets it to go. Incredible shot. And the four. And Barrett can't find anybody. They have no timeouts remaining. Finally gets it in to McGrady. McGrady over forward for three. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Tracy McGrady! Points. They've outscored the Spurs 14 to 6. And this a moment ago. Well, they almost didn't get the ball in. And now you've got the best defender in the game on McGrady. How does he hit this? Oh, Bowen not wanting to pick up the foul. And McGrady amazingly somehow gets it to go. It's a two-point game. And a good job by Andre Barrett. They had no timeouts left. Close to a five-second count, but got the ball inbound. So 11.2 to go in this fourth quarter san antonio now clinging to a two-point lead they've led by as many as 11 yao ming on the inbounds trying to make things difficult for brent barry gets it in Kevin brown lost it here comes mcgrady no timeout committed mcgrady for the win yes! 1.7 to go san antonio with no timeout here's parker and the rockets steal a game from the spurs it's easy to sum it up when you just talk about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Not a game. Not, a, not, not the game that I go out there and, and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We're talking about practice, man. And then getting the basketball, because a lot of good things will happen, not just with him scoring, but then also it open up. Oh, man! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's possible. Anything's possible! James 
Reigns with the step, and the game is tied at 91. He wondered if he was going to go back to the basket. He goes back with a vengeance, back-to-back -back slam dunks. Here, let's see if he can just rediscover that uh, free throw shooting touch. Now this time, LeBron hits on both. Here's James <laughs> off the pass for Nogalskis. They took him off the ball at that time. And a nice play to put Eric Snow at the top. And a little give and go that time. LeBron James with a beautiful cut. James 7 of 10 at the line. of the last 17 Cleveland points scored by LeBron James. LeBron is now 9 for 13 at the line, and the Cavaliers have a one-point lead. Got clocked in five. James has to fire and oh, scores! Oh, oh, my. What a shot by LeBron James. Off balance, shot clock running down. He had no angle, and he drilled it. Brent's defending on James, goes to the step back and hits. <laughs> That's 41 points for LeBron James, and he has scored 22 of the Cavaliers' last 23. Goes behind the back, and the <laughs> game is tied at 104. That's too good right there. That, that was an amazing move. I've never seen him make that behind the back dribble and pull up and shoot the ball like that. And the second overtime. Here's James for three. Yes! Oh, and the game no. is tied at oh. 107. This is unbelievable. This is Jordan esque. 46 points for LeBron James. Ringo covered with Phillips on James. Working it down. Five seconds. Four. Three. James scores with 2.2 to go. The Cavaliers lead 109, 107. 48 points for LeBron James. 48 points, we'll say it again. The last 25 for the Cavaliers, 29 of the last 30. One of the great performances of all time in playoff history, authored by LeBron James. Mo Williams will throw in. Rashard Lewis playing off the ball. Lewis. Gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer! As the Cavaliers have pulled it out to tie the series and what a miraculous shot by James! LeBron James off the inbound. That's his first three-pointer of the night. How about this as a follow-up to the clutch shot by Hilo Turgalo and the Cleveland Cavaliers, after blowing a 23-point lead, are indeed fortunate to come away with a incredible victory. Well, Mark, you, you said, I told you, you wanted that ball going away from the basket. They forced him away, he caught it, and made an incredible shot. That's, that's what MVP... The work they've done on that front line has been terrific for Cleveland. Barnett comes out on LeBron. Now they switch, and here's Pierce again. A Smith screen. Koji will defend. Oh! oh! LeBron James with no regard for human life! has given the Cavaliers their biggest lead tonight. Whoa! Boy, he has not been able to get in the lane, but man, oh man, what a punctuating dunk from LeBron James. Oh my goodness, power, speed, athleticism. You think he's excited after this play of recognizing great chance to push this series to 2 2 going back to Boston? A one point game. Walton can tip it. 
Bryant with the save. Oh, you got to get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! The work they've done on that front line has been terrific for Cleveland. Garnett comes out on LeBron. Now they switch, and here's Pierce again. A Smith screen. Hoji will defend. Oh! oh! LeBron James with no regard for human life has given the Cavaliers their biggest lead tonight. You think he's excited after this play of recognizing great chance to push this series to 2 2 going back to Boston? Bryant, both teams are over the foul limit. Odom will throw in. Bryant turns and comes up short. Arteta. Suns are shocked. They will review it. It appeared he got it off on time. And here's another look as Bryant fires one that came up short. Our test, no question, got it off on time. Just his superior upper body strength knocked Jason Richardson out of that play. And wherewithal to get it at the basket quickly. What an amazing finish tonight in this game. How resilient were the Phoenix Suns to hang around and then the Lakers finding a way to win a game on a Kobe Bryant air ball. And the Suns showing they're a resilient team and they've done very well on the road as we talked about earlier but this is a disheartening loss for the Suns as the series heads back to Phoenix for a Our test, that's a three. Bang! Lakers by six with a minute to play. And where the shooters are coming off. Rondo looking. Gets it to Pierce. Pierce turns back out. Rondo thinks. Dribbles puts up the three. Won't go. Rebound to Saul. Kicks it out to Odom. Odom throws it ahead. The Lakers repeat back to back titles. The LA Lakers, the 2010 NBA champions. When you're shooting a basketball, four shooters are really for anyone. So you can kind of see how it's affecting Tony Parker. J.I. Smith! We just saw a man fly! Right on Cowboy! What a play! J.R. Smith with the time running down just took flight.
off George Hill. Took it in the chest, went up a couple more feet with the finish here in Denver. Play by the defense. Lead pass. Whoa! this watch this oh my goodness i mean he he, he actually watch this. this ball watch i want to go higher oh my goodness dragons somebody grab dragons that do you know who this kid is he is from chicago he has a 40 inch vertical and you are where is my poster machine this is what i need my poster machine where is it at oh my Look at the Cavs, six of seven from the free throw line, 85%. This is a team that's 30th in the league, shooting 69% from the free throw line. Here's James. He was looking for contact from Jermaine O'Neal, got a piece of it. Ready. Oh, I think so. Yes, and a foul. Wayne Lee going right at Anderson Parashow. Well, this is the reversal of fortune. First, LeBron James tries to test Jermaine O'Neal and gets it sent back. And Dwayne Wade right at the body of Anderson Barajal. Welcome to your Kodak moment, Anderson Barajal. A standing ovation for Dwayne Wade. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>